I'm just back at it with another quick video and I wanted to do a quick lesson on how Esau himself was not white again Esau himself was not white and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Bible of course I'm going to go into the Hebrew the strong accordance and I'm going to go into history to prove without any shadow of a doubt that Esau himself was not white and when I say white I don't mean white as in this when I say white I mean Esau was not white as in the Europeans that you see I mean that Esau was not white as in Donald Trump Esau was not so called white so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick it off at the birth of Esau so let's go to Genesis chapter 25 and I'm going to prove without any shadow of a doubt that Esau himself was not white. This is Genesis chapter 25 verse 23 and before I start I just wanted to let everybody know that I read from the scriptures translation Again, the scriptures translation is by the ISR. I recommend that in every video to check out this translation. It's a great translation. So this is Genesis chapter 25, verse 23. It says, And Yahuwah said to her, Two nations are in your womb, and two people shall be separated from your body. And one people shall be stronger than the other, and the older serve the younger so right here you have to understand that Rebecca was pregnant she was pregnant with twins and it says two nations were in her womb so that's simple two nations were in, was in her womb Esau represents a nation Jacob represents a nation nation just like Noah by Noah you have him that's a nation Shem that's a nation and Japheth that's a nation and they populated the whole earth so this is the same concept that um, by this couple two different nationalities came by this one couple let's keep reading verse 24 and when the days were filled for her to give birth and see twins were in her womb so a lot of Hebrew Israelites they will say see that they were twins fraternal twins but that is not true Esau and Jacob were identical twins let's prove that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into some history and as a lot of Hebrew Israelites know of of this historian Flavius Josephus he talks about Esau and Jacob so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Josephus and I'm just going to read the part about Esau and Jacob and this is the antiquities of the Jews one point Two, six, nine. Again, this is the antiquities of the Jews. It says, and I'm actually going to start at 270. So, antiquity of the Jews, 1.270. It says, now when the supper was got ready, he took a great, sorry, he took a goat skin and put it about his arm that by reason of its hairy roughness he might he might by his father be believed to be Esau for they being twins and all thing else alike differed only in this thing let me read that again now when the supper was got ready he took a goat skin 
and put it about his arms, that by reason of its hairy roughness, he might by his father be believed to be Esau, for they being twins and an all thing else alike, differ only in this thing. So according to Flavius Josephus, Esau and Jacob looked everything and like except for one thing. Esau was hairy. That's right, Esau was hairy. That was the only difference between Esau and Jacob was his hairy skin. And you can read that in Genesis, I believe Genesis chapter 48 or 49. So, let's go back to Genesis chapter 25. And let's go back to verse 24. And when the days were filled for her to give birth and see, twins were in her womb. Now remember, according to history, Flavius Josephus, he even said that they looked just alike, identical twins. Only different in one thing. Esau was hairy. And the Bible is going to even prove that. Verse 25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. So they called his name Esau. So you see that? Esau was hairy. And it says that the first came out red. Now, a lot of Hebrew Israelites will say, you see that? He came out red. Well, let's study to show ourselves for proof. And let's look up this word red. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to go back into the, or we're going to go into the strong accordance. And let's look up this red in Genesis chapter 25 and verse 25. Let's see. That word red is H119. Again, H119. It means reddish. It means of the hair or the complexion. Red or ruddy. So Esau was red or ruddy. Hmm. Red or ruddy, huh? The Hebrew word H119. Red or ruddy. Did y'all know that Adam was also described as the same Hebrew word red or ruddy? So it was Adam also a so-called white man let's prove that Adam also was described as red or ruddy let's go into the Bible and let's go to Genesis chapter 2 so we see that Flavius Josephus said that Esau and Jacob looked just alike they looked just alike it was just that Esau was hairy now, let's go to Genesis chapter 2. Let's go to verse 7. It says, And Yahuwah Elohim formed the man out of dust from the ground, and breathed into his nostrils breath of life, and the man became a living soul. So, let's go into the Hebrew, and let's go to Genesis chapter 2. And let's look up this word, man. This is talking about Adam. This is Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. Now, when you look up that word man, it's the Hebrew word 120. Here's the root word. The root word is H119. It's the same word that described Esau. Reddish, red, or ruddy. And Esau was made from what? The dust of the ground. So what I'm going to do here, I want to show y'all some soil. That is soil. That's the dust of the ground. Adam was formed from the dust of the ground. And when you see this,
when you see that that is not a white color this is a brown color with a reddish glow to it look at it that's a brown color with a reddish glow to it this is the same word that described Esau remember these were identical twins they look just alike it was just that Esau was hairy so you see Adam being described also as red ruddy and he was made from the dust of the ground when you look at the ground is a brown with a reddish glow let's get more did you know that Samuel was also described as the same word Esau and Adam was described let's prove it let's go to 1st Samuel 16 let's go to 1st Samuel chapter 16 and we're going to read verse 12 Again, this is 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 12. It says, And he sent and brought him in. And he was ruddy. The same word described for Esau and Adam as also described for, from, for Solomon. And if you don't believe this is Solomon, let's read the verse before that. Let's go to verse 11. It says, There remains yet the youngest, and see, he is tending the sheep. And, and Solomon said to Yahshua, Send and bring him, for we do not turn around till he comes here. And he sent and, he sent and brought him in, and he was ruddy. You see that? So Solomon was also ruddy. Don't believe me? Let's look into the Hebrew again. Let's look into the Hebrew. And let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 16. Remember, through that precepts, you get understanding. 1 Samuel chapter 16 and verse in verse 12 and he sent and brought him in now he was ruddy that that word ruddy is h132 is from h119 reddish red ruddy solomon was a black man and he looked just like that picture solomon was brown with a reddish glow you see many of our people that look like this. They are brown with a nice reddish glow to them. This is how Esau looked. This is how Adam looked. This is how Solomon looked. But did you know that King David was also described as this same word, ruddy? Let's read it. Let's go to 1 Samuel 17. The next chapter, this is 1 Samuel chapter 17, and this is verse 42. It says, When the Philistine, the Philistine, looked about and saw David, he despised him, for he was a youth and ruddy and of a handsome appearance. So they described King David as ruddy and handsome so being ruddy being red just like Esau is looked upon as handsome it's a beautiful color let's go into the Hebrew let's go into the Hebrew to prove that even King David was also described as ruddy and is that same word that's described as Esau that is described as Adam. That is described as Solomon. Is also described for King David. Let's go to 1 Samuel again. In the concordance. 17 and 42. Let's see what this word ruddy means. 
that word ruddy H132 is from the Hebrew word H119 it's the same word reddish red ruddy King David also was described as ruddy check this picture out again Bemer Adam was made from the dust of the ground when you look into the ground it's a brown color with a reddish glow and let me prove even more that this ruddy is a brown color with a reddish glow to it let's prove it even more so what we're going to do now we're going to go to let's see here we're going to go to Samuel give me one second let's prove even more that this ruddy is a brown color with a reddish glow again a brown color with a reddish glow just give me one second here let me just look up this verse see red heifer that's what we're going to do we're going to look up a red heifer which is numbers chapter 19 again let's go to numbers chapter 19 and we're going to prove even more that this ruddy is a brown color with a reddish complexion a reddish glow to it so what we're going to do, we're going to go into a red heifer. Let's go into Numbers chapter 19. And let's go to verse 2. It says, this is the law of the Torah, which Yahuwah has commanded, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, that they bring you a red heifer, a perfect one, in which there is no blemish, and on which a yoke has never come. Hmm. Hmm. So a red heifer, huh? Let's go to Numbers chapter 19, verse 2 in the strong accordance. And let's look up this red heifer. And let's find out if this is the same word that's described as everybody we looked up. So this is Numbers chapter 19, verse 2. And when you look into the Hebrew, that word red is H122. The root word is from H119. It means red, ruddy. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into a red heifer on Google. And let's see how a red heifer looks. Is it an actual red? This is a red heifer. It's a brown heifer with a red glow. This is a red heifer. This is the same red or ruddy or reddish that describes Esau, that describes Adam, that describes Solomon, that describes King David. And the same red word that describes a red heifer. So with that, brothers and sisters, without any shadow of a doubt, that Esau himself was not so-called white. Esau looked just like his brother. Identical twins. The only thing was different was Esau was very hairy and most high women I will be doing more videos proving how Esau is not the so-called white man 
and his descendants are not either. With that, Shalom.